I'm Simon, and I'm first time I'm gonna view a car. It's gonna be my new hobby. So this is Volkswagen Jetta. It's a 2008 model with two liter turbo diesel engine. It produces 103 kilo kilowatts of power, and I'm gonna tell you why it's good or why it's not. And facet. It's shaped design almost like a sedan. It's it's basically a Volkswagen Golf, which is a sedan. You can again experience the end of it. It's more like a set, and the front of it is more like golf. So as you can see, the lamps and back is almost looking like identical, like Volkswagen Passat in this age. Take a look under the hood. As you can see, it's quite a spacious boot, like for a, a C-Class sedan. All the bags, a comfy place. Under that, you can find actually a full size spare wheel. It's just a bit rare these days, even uh, at this age models, and also a kit to fix it. A little boot for storage area, and my favorite feature oh, yeah, the hooking. It's just a simple plastic thing, but I wish every car would have it because when you put you have a groceries, it's more easier to contain all the bottles inside. As you can see, the front just looks almost like for Volkswagen Golf. It has this nice Volkswagen logo, metal grill, and why I like the feature, a Volkswagen headlights. Oh yeah, that's the most fun to show that you're really driving a Volkswagen. So let's check under the hood. The hood lever is quite huge. As you can see. And I don't know if I can open with one hand. I'm pretty sure I can. As you can see, it doesn't need any more attachment, which I quite like. These days, it's a quite normal 2 liter turbocharged diesel. And well, it does the job. So, as you can see, this is pretty basically a home car. It uh, doesn't have really big special, but every feel, every material feels quite uh, good quality actually. Well of course, if you consider the age, then as well you can see if it slips, it's a 1000 car with more than 350,000 kilometers on its side. But if you check the materials hold up, the plastic feels quite hard. If you're doing a knocking test, uh, the wheel is a bit, a bit grimsy, but you can see it has its own, which we call a changer bit, lever bit, is a quite casual sedan. The seats aren't the most comfortable, but if you compare to a C-Class or what you can get if you see used for a car, uh, it's quite a good deal. And at this moment you can get this car for about, you can check this car and find it I believe for about uh, this year, for 2 liter diesel, for about 4 thousand euros with this kind of mileage which is actually pretty good especially for this condition okay, you're basically a Volkswagen Golf with a uh, which, look, uh, which is a sedan this car is actually built of Volkswagen Passat chassis and just taking the lower version which as you can know Volkswagen Passat have a bigger chassis which, which makes this car more comfortable but it also makes it more practical by size because you can actually doesn't care that much and you can fit it and it's a bit cheaper so if you're thinking why you should buy why you should buy a Passat mu uh, pay much more money and you can get a Jetta with the same, same configuration knowing that it's built on the same size chassis so you can see we have a lot of features the buttons are in pretty nice shape. There's a decent space for two bottles and a cup. You can see the age done itself. As you can see, the key is simple. Same thing for Volkswagen key, nothing special. The buttons glow uh, taken away, it has its ages, but it's just turn around. That's it. It works just that. As you can see, Volkswagen system. I turn it on. European hit radio. Oh yeah, it doesn't have much uh, sounds. 
Rears is, I believe, a Kunz control, which I never use because I think it's a bit difficult to set. On, off, on, off. You can turn on or turn it off. You have uh, low lies by clicking this. You can, this you hold it by clicking this. You just, you know, make it the sign. Up, down, reset buttons. A decent that if you put shadow mask here, you have all them up, volume plus. Favorites, which doesn't really work. And a phone, actually, I know there's a phone, but I never, uh, I tried to connect it, but it doesn't really work. You have actually quite nice entertainment system. You have a very nice uh, board computer for this age. So yeah, you can, you even have a navigation. In this system, you have a navigation. So you can, conversions, life vision, comfort indicator on. Okay, I don't even have, no, that. You can reset to factory systems. Time, winter tires. You can set the winter tires by clicking plus or minus. Change units, temperature, consume distance, miles per gallon, all of that. You can change the factory settings, display off. Yeah. What about time? Okay, time. License vision, comfort indicator, factory settings. Convenience, door open, single door, auto door, auto close, auto open, okay. Cough mode, I done that, that. Conversation mode, okay. Mirror adjusting, both mirrors or individually. Factory settings, I don't want to do that. So this is basically got, okay, we have so you can see kilometers, speed warnings, how much time you spent on the, on the trip while driving this day today. If you're standing, it actually shows how much fuel you use per hour. That's brilliant. When you go and choose normal, but when you choose, you can see, of course, how much you use uh, for driving at this time. Still have some fuel. I have to, I believe, how much you drive today. But this is amazing, you actually can't see how much if you're standing using per hour. So yeah, FM radio, basically just switching between what you're using. I don't see any use of that, navigation. Of course, when you turn on navigation, can show that you can see this is the most simplest entertainment system ever. It has CDs, but there's more. If you want actually to have a CD changer, there it is. You actually can store, it's nothing where you can take it out, store some coins, uh, have a six disc loader. I know, yeah, I know, to, and this so entertainment system, as you can see, you have info, it shows the road, uh, navigation, please. It doesn't have Lithuania, so that's a bit difficult. You can actually update it even these days. Route start navigation, whatever. But navigation route is being calculated. The route to your intermediate destination is being calculated. Oh, you can see, and it actually shows on that. And that's actually 2008 car, which is quite amazing with this kind of entertainment. So, a single switch, it doesn't have a climate control, but it has just a simple air conditioner, have temperature. Air C condition on. No, you can't do that. This is this is interesting. It has simple dials, but for example, if you want a temperature to be adjusted just right between legs, for example, both you have just put it in the middle and it's gonna blow. It's a bit mechanical. So we what else we have? So we have AC off. Oh yeah, addition with this, which probably doesn't work at all. But good for chargers and quite yeah easy to that if you're a smoker I guess it's more simple and now it think you actually wears at cigarette holders and I guess this one to get your ashes down why Germans fit about that another thing which I like I dislike a normal ha I like a normal handbrake Six-speed uh, manual, but I hate what you have to do reverse by pressing down. 
because few times in driving and when I really get mad and just waiting for that I accidentally push it down not to some bit, but not to minus but still the same using another strange thing is this one this is actually for well if you're in trouble you can actually call somebody else I don't know why you have to take it out because it doesn't really work that but it's still there it's maybe it was useful when 2008 that's it so yeah you can dial switches pretty normal nothing special here almost every single car copied and used that ventilation hours and minutes as to change time a dial how bright you want do you want very bright not very bright simple hockey another feature which I like is warning lights when you put a warning light it's show that but if you're turning a, to a right or turning to a left it actually turn off the warning light actually this is quite quite a feature especially when you are pulled by somebody else Another thing, which I really strangely, where is, yes, there is secret stash under the driving seats. A decent boot with instructions beside, which is really nice storage area. You can near bags turn on, turn off with a key. Yeah, we can see a Volkswagen logo. Another Volkswagen, remember your own Volkswagen. A strange place to put or even a good place to put a gas mileage the seats aren't electrical but you have a lever to put down put that lower this thing is a cup holder and actually I quite hate this cup holder if you're gonna put it here you can see when you're driving it's it's pretty easy to fall down and even here if you're stopping it's easy to pull down especially if you want two ones but if I usually put it down you can adjust that and for one is okay but another thing if you want try to put a larger bottle for example in here and put it down and actually you can fit your charger which seems quite a good place for it but what I like the most yes a Volkswagen bottle opener exactly if all you're driving you get a Volkswagen bottle opener how cool is this stack actually is quite good of course because uh, if you're putting your higher person uh, I'm about 6.2 feet tall or 183 centimeters so yeah you can see all the switches up here have a bit storage area events uh, non um, well non cigarette light uh, jack no jacks to oh, your phone but phone and actually you have quite a decent amount of space it's not the most comfortable but you can see I cannot fit however it has doesn't have empty space between us, so like a simple sedan, so it's quite comfortable for two persons. We have a pull lever actually, you can pull it down. I quite have a decent amount, however, it doesn't really have any cup holder. You can, yes, yes. but sadly, it doesn't have any cup holder for a person. All the cup holders we had is. The sides. Right, it has well safety locks as every car should use these days. Also, but the most important thing, which I like, it is interesting, is this box, which I find out is a smoking ash tray for a passenger, and only on this side. So that means you cannot pull it down and drive it like limousine, and smoke your cigars because you have an ash tray for a passenger. But no light because so I guess the driver should you should give you a lighter so you can enjoy your ride if it's also driving a sunglasses which actually doesn't fit a lot
So basically, this is Volkswagen Jetta and now it's time for a test drive. 2008 Volkswagen Jetta with manual gearbox like a proper car should be. This is Volkswagen Jetta. As we can know, it maneuvers pretty good. Pretty nice. Do you hear that diesel? Oh yes. So the driving. Austere rewards. Pretty nice uh, stereo. I wouldn't say it's very high tech, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't need, it's basically feeling like driving uh, golf, uh, something like that. Uh, I had drive it past that, but uh, that's a bit, that doesn't, uh, does, that doesn't feel so, well, it's much more luxury. And this is feel like uh, a better version of golf. It's maybe a sedan, and I don't know, I call it a Jetta, not like a golf sedan, but that's even better, because uh, a lot of people doesn't want uh, cars to be named golf and you're not uh, and this car it wouldn't be like it's it's like a Volkswagen Golf when you're adult grown up man know how to drive a car and don't want to be an appropriate hooligan unappropriate hooligan of course we all know Jetta from Fast and Furious which was what quite fast and when they changed the Jetta to borrow and they came back with the same name called Jetta it's about 103 kilowatts, that's about 140 horsepower, but actually it does the job. Oh, it has the diesel sound, doesn't have a very short shifter. The shifter it feels like you're, it's very pleasant but it feels, you know, you have to put the, some way on it, but that's okay. Uh, it's gonna take you from point A to from B and doesn't look like you're driving in golf and actually it's pretty comfy of course the seat maybe get uh, uncomfy in a thousand kilometers something like that but everything seems okay uh, doesn't have the most smoothiest uh, suspension but it's not the cheap or something like that so what do you expect from a car like that uh, the fuel economy is uh, six liters i doing uh, so in my town i do about seven liters per hundred kilometers i wouldn't say how that's in, in the united states and car is good believe me it's perfect car for daily use i don't know about new jettas but uh, however two liter but this engine is really it sounds a bit uh, yeah it, it has some sounds actually it's quite uh, isn't perfect uh, it doesn't isolate perfectly and still hear the road you can of course it's still better than a lot of uh, this type of economy class but you still can hear the road you can feel the bumps a bit it doesn't really like oh no it's a bump oh no it's all you know you can still drive it Zero to sixty kilometers. It goes, I guess, about four seconds, I guess, or five seconds. But it's okay for a town car. You can actually superpass a lot of uh, cars in the road, which is better, especially because in if you want to enter into the circle, which is the most important thing of this car. Most important thing of this car. So why do we give this car quite a good? So it was something with Volkswagen experience, uh, German engineering, and you don't doesn't and you want a bit economical class, and don't want to spend huge amount of money, or and having a proper engine, which is two liter diesel. It's a bit it's a proper engine, but 
because it's not a small diesel it will run I believe it's, it will run much more uh, have uh, can have a quite good mileage on it overall pretty decent car stereo does pretty well drive experience pleasant I would driving experience pleasant it's a daily car nothing special but it will actually gives you more than you expect so as you can see on Simon's car, I give it a uh, Volkswagen Jetta, as you see a score, power, comfort uh, and fun to drive it get, and cool looking it gets 6 because it's better than an average car but it isn't better than well a sporty car. Handling is pretty good because well it's not a big car, comfort it's okay, style well it's a nice style, I believe, because it's half fun of a Golf and a bit uh, classy of a Passat. Uh, doesn't have many features, but it's good enough for its age. Quality is quite good, and uh, it's 10 for daily use because, well, it's perfect for daily use. And the average score is 6.3 out of 10, which is pretty good, and I would recommend to buy this car.